when we come back is, uh, yes, you know, we have to allocate the money. That's step one. But we've got to have better systems in place on how to distribute the money or at least make sure all our players are on board with how to go about applying for the money. Um, I had a great call this morning uh, with, with some people that work with the great program out of Raleigh and uh, really got some good information that what I felt was really helpful information to our counties uh, on how providers can apply to that how they can partner with counties to meet the matching grant or meet the matching dollars it takes to get the grants and how they can work with nonprofits to do it, which I didn't even know was able to be done through this program. So it was very informational for me, for our counties. And uh, then I'm going to follow it up with a call later this week to our providers in the area and let them know how they can go about applying for this money. Um, so, uh, you know, really the topics I want to focus on is making sure the money's there but making sure all the players know how to access it um, and making sure it comes to rural areas. I mean, obviously, when you've got a county like a Mecklenburg or a Wake or something like that, who has a ton of uh, personnel that can always be tracking these grants and things like that and grant writers that to be doing these application processes. Uh, it's a lot different when you're dealing with a smaller county that's more limited on staff, uh, maybe less experience dealing with these types of uh, grant writing and, and applying for these programs. So really taking it on ourselves as elected officials to make sure uh, the key players in our region know how to access this money. Um, and just, just allocating the money can't be the only step we do. We have to make sure it gets to where it needs to go.